All right, guys, Corey here with the European preview. Now, we've had a very slow Monday, as expected here in the Asian session, and really no new headlines from what happened in the Asian preview this morning. So um, China's still in there. Um, there's stuff out of Japan, manufacturers moved up. Gradual recovery from recession. Um, some nice attacks, terrorists all around. So, again, nothing really new out in the headlines. Um, the key will be patience this week. Um, we don't really have much data coming out until later on Thursday, which will be the kind of big day, and then wrap it up with um, some U.S. numbers at the end. But I'm um, checking out the dollar index just to see where it's at. Look, kind of trailing another adjusted support line here. I uh, don't expect too much going forward in the European session either. Um, expect to kind of sit mid-range going over to the majors. Um, the Aussie, which literally just up and down, up and down from about a 10-point range all day. I'm going to zoom in there for you, as you can see. Um, just a lot of sideways action. Um, everyone just kind of waiting, you know, especially in the Euro. Um, nothing really in it. Everyone just chopped up from last week. They're just going to say they're going to wait, you know, and have the patience this week to get involved. Um, Sterling as well, um, checking it out, pretty much the same thing as well. Um, nothing really new. Um, just flightless bird really kind of on a bit of a downtrend um, with a bit of support coming in around a 666. Creepy. But anyways, um, checking out the dollar again, see what that did today. It was forming a bit of a resistance, and it has popped through um, with not much direction, though. So, I mean, the market's still waiting for direction. So, if those of you checking out that resistance line, um, you'd really want to just adjust it to that high um, and really wait for it to kind of get involved with the trend line and the cloud. Um, so I was hoping for it to kind of maintain around here throughout the day, you know, so we'd have a nice trend line coming up um, to this cloud around 123. But it looks like we'll have to adjust to the recent high there and um, just kind of wait. It's going to be the waiting game, guys. Um, again, we don't have much data coming out tonight. I think we got Governor Carney speaking for the BOE. Um, but don't expect much. We do have the vote count later on Thursday. So that will be the big mover. But again, guys, really quiet day. Um, not much in the end crosses either. Um, it's all I can check it out. You know, it's still kind of sitting around 134. It looks like it kind of hit a peak. Um, so we'll kind of wait for the price of oil and um, see if any chaos goes on in Syria or anything like that for it to drive the price up or down. So um, that's it, guys. Nothing really coming out. Um, have the patience and kind of wait. This week, again, it is coming into the holidays, so the markets will start to thin out as well. Um, so just, you know, be very careful with your positions and have the patience only when it has a good setup. Don't be chasing any trades at the moment because that's a bit crazy. But um, that's, a bit, that's it for me, guys. Uh, best of luck, and we will speak to you um, tomorrow. All right, cheers, guys.